I'm going to take you on a tour of Babyland General, which is home to the Cabbage Patch Kids and is located in Cleveland, Georgia. Babyland General is in this huge estate and it is absolutely gorgeous to look at. But beyond the hospital, there is gorgeous mountain views and gardens. So be sure to visit whether or not you love Cabbage Patch Kids or not. So let's go into Babyland General. This is going to be the new location that they have. Many, many years ago, there was a much smaller location. So if you remember that, it has changed. When you step inside the grand lobby, you are going to be surrounded by all things Cabbage Patch Kids. And it's so much fun. So you're going to start with these displays of some of the oldest Cabbage Patch Kids that have been around, plus this fun photo op. Did you know that Cabbage Patch Kids actually are very much an Appalachian art form? That is how they got started before becoming what they are known like today. So you'll see all of that history, and then you'll start peeking into the Babyland General nursery windows. And that is where you're going to find so many varieties of the Cabbage Patch Kids, from hand-sewn to maybe a little bit more mass-produced. There are so many versions of the Cabbage Patch Kids, and they vary greatly in price depending on how much hand stitching and hand crafting goes into each doll. Now, what was very interesting was that there was so many kids that were so excited to come to Babyland General and come to the gift shop and pick out their doll. I personally remember Cabbage Patch Kids as a child, and I didn't realize that it had lasted 40 years now and that families are still bringing their children to Babyland General to pick out their first Cabbage Patch doll or maybe their second or third. You'll find plenty of accessories in the gift store. Now, if you do adopt, you'll be taken into the adoption room where you will get a birth certificate and you will promise to take care of your baby. Every day there are live births at Babyland General from the Cabbage Patch and it's quite the ceremony. So I'm gonna show you what the process looks like. Installation is now 10 leaves apart. Nurse Tina, please scrub. All vital signs are normal. Mother Cabbage is in labor. All staff, code green. Nurse Tina to delivery staff. Hello and welcome to Babyland. Is this anybody's first time seeing a delivery? All right, so we have several first-timers. Well, don't be nervous or afraid. I'm Nurse Tina, and I'm an LPN. That means I am a licensed patch nurse, so I'm certified to take care of Mother Cabbage in the patch. Now, the way we know Mother Cabbage is going into labor is the crystals at the bottom of the patch begin to glow brighter, and the bunny leaves above my head, we all they sprinkle down a magical pollen dust. And that pollen dust determines whether we're going to have a boy or a girl. So guess what my next question to y'all is? Y'all want a boy or a girl? Y'all are too quiet for me. Boy or girl? All right, now tell you what we're going to do. Put those fingers high in the air and cross them. If you want a girl, I want you to think pink, pink, pink. If you want a boy, blue, 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 okay? Now I'm going to check the heartbeat. And this really doesn't mean anything, but if it's fast, that usually means it's a girl. If it's a little bit slower, that means it's a boy. But y'all can kind of get an opinion and we'll kind of take a vote. But Mother Cabbage has been playing tricks on Nurse Tina all week. So she's thrown in a boy when I thought it was a girl. So y'all listen really, really close. Let's see if we can get a heartbeat. What do y'all think? Girl. I think it's a boy. I think it's a boy because it's a little slow. I agree with you. But I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to do a quick sonogram. And y'all are getting a happy, healthy baby. And let's see what we're getting. Watch the tree here. What are we going to get? We're getting a girl because it's pink. So I got tricked. 
All right, let me get a pink blanket. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is give Mother Cabbage a dose of a magicillin. Now, y'all, magicillin will not hurt our arm, Mother Cabbage, but it will help those leaves to relax before, during, and after her labor and delivery. Now, Mother Cabbage has already had several deliveries this morning, so Nurse Tina's gonna give her just a little bit of extra a magicillin. The next thing I'm gonna give her is the biggest dose I can find, a TLC. Who knows in our audience what TLC stands for? Anybody? Anybody know? Tell me, what is it? Tender, loving, care, very good, a future nurse out there. And we believe in giving massive doses of tender, loving care to all our babies here at Babyland. Now y'all, it's been a pretty busy morning. We've already had several deliveries. So I need those fingers crossed tight and even crossing toes if you can, because we need to make sure Mother Cabbage is definitely a full 10 leaves of bark dilated, because that is very, very important. Let's just see. Oh, I do believe y'all have a lot done, because she is, and we're off to a wonderful start. So the next thing I'm gonna do it's called an easy otomy. Can y'all say easy otomy? Yeah. All right, Nurse Tina's gonna tell y'all a big secret about an easy otomy. I want you to think about how big the whole world is. And guess what, guys? We're the only hospital in the whole world who performs this procedure. And then I'm gonna tell you something a little personal. And I don't share this with everybody, so y'all have to keep my secret. Nurse Tina's never had to do a cabbage section. And for all y'all newbies, that is a C-section. So we don't want to have to do one of those today. All right. Now, like I told you, Mother Cabbage has been delivering babies all morning long. So she's anxious, tired, and really she just wants to take a nice long nap. So it's up to you guys to help me motivate her to deliver this beautiful baby girl. Y'all ready to help me? Are y'all gonna all help me? Yeah. All right, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. I want everybody just to get good and comfortable and I want y'all to take a really, really deep breath in and slowly let it out. Good job. See, I can already tell that's starting to work because I can see these leaves just relaxing. Now let's do that one more time. A really, really deep breath in, y'all deep, deep. Oh, and slowly let it out. Good job. I do believe Mother Cabin is ready to start pushing. Y'all ready to see what this baby girl looks like? Yeah. All right, I am too. So I'm gonna count one, two, and when I get to three, it's gonna be all your turn to yell push. We gotta wake Mother Cabbage up so she'll deliver this baby girl. All right, on three. One, two, three. All right, that was a pretty good push. And I tell you, I did get movement. I actually saw a hand. And that's awesome news, guys. Cause what's in arm or leg, we've been having a branch delivery like here on this tree. And you know when two tree branches get stuck together, it takes a while to get them apart. So we might have been stuck here for hours. So y'all have really lucked up one more time. Give me one more big push and we're gonna see what this little girl looks like. All right, you ready? Y'all know on three. One, two, three. tell y'all a few things about her. The first thing I did notice is she was born bald-headed, but hey, that's all right. She's beautiful anyway. 
But that does mean our interns forgot to fertilize her part of the patch last night. Everybody see her? The next thing I see is those beautiful blue eyes. Y'all see those blue eyes? And look, guys, she has an Audi belly button. Now, the next part is a tad bit embarrassing for her. So you don't have to promise you won't laugh too loud. But like all babies born here in Babyland, she does have the Xavier Roberts birthmark on her tiny little bottom. All right, I'm gonna wrap her up. And in just a minute, we're going over to the Babyland Delivery Nursery for her first checkup. But before I take her over there, she needs something. Very good. That's the fastest I think anybody's ever told me that. She needs a name. So who wants to help me name her? All right, what you got? Jessica. Jessica, that's a good name. What you got, darling? Oh, Jessica. Huh? Say it loud. Jessica. Crystal, Jessica, and Crystal. And what have you got, little fella? Um, Twinkles. Twinkles. Jessica, Crystal, and Twinkle. Now I'm going to ask her to see what she thinks about all these names. We have Jessica, Twinkle, and I forgot one. Jessica, Twinkle, and what was the other one? Crystal. Crystal. Oh, which one do you like? Oh, really? No, I can't tell them that, but I can tell them that. Yes, okay. She said she loves all those names, and she said, tell y'all, she's going to be a star someday. So she's decided to go with Jessica Twinkle. And with a name like that, she's bound to be famous. Y'all give her a hand because today's her birthday. Be sure to see all of our Helen, Georgia area videos. I will put links to all of the things that we have in the description below.